And do you think having that intense rivalry makes you a better player? Having someone to, who is constantly compared to you, does that make you more motivated to be even better? But I'm always motivated. And I don't need, I don't need other players to motivate myself. But of course, uh, Messi is, is an unbelievable player. And maybe in the end of, of me, maybe he pushed me more, harder to be better and better. Probably, yes. Lionel Messi, you played with him. Um, does he still impress you, what he does week in, week out? I think Messi is one of a kind. What he's doing, I don't know if we will see another player do the things that he does because he has his way of playing, the style, and uh, to become that player, I don't think it's possible. That's why I say it's one of a kind. I had the, the luck that I saw him every day and I saw what he was doing every day. So, I mean, I said it before, it's like playing PlayStation. You give the ball to the guy and you start to, to go through every player. And that's, that's who Messi is. And I think we should be appreciating, especially Argentina should appreciate that they have a player like that and they should enjoy him while he's playing. I remember watching Messi training. Everybody was talking about him, the new kid, back then. He showed that he was going to have a great future. For me, it was a joy to have played with him and to see the history that he's making. I didn't teach him anything. He already knew it all. I think these players have all been uh, the best in their time. Pelé was the best in his time. Maradona was the best in his time. And now Messi, like Romario or Ronaldo, in their time. Moving on to the players that you played with, you played with Messi. He's a phenomenal player, but not many players played with Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's the best? <laughs> but what are the differences? And more importantly, what's the difference between them? You've seen them close. I think that they are both amazing. We are talking about two of the best players, in, not just in the world, in the history of, of this sport. Uh, I always said that Messi has some talent that no one has. I mean, he has the ball and he, his speed uh, controlling the ball with, uh, and, and the ball doesn't go two meters far from his foot. is always there. It's impossible to catch him. This talent, uh, I didn't see to anyone. I always said uh, in, in Spanish, in English, is like uh, for me, Messi is like is not human, and Cristiano is the best of the human. Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Um, I think Messi. Um, he's doing things which, in, in my eyes anyway, Messi is the best ever. What makes him a little bit better than Ronaldo, if indeed it is a little bit? What makes him better? I just think the way he plays the game and he, the goals he scores and um, it just looks, you know, spectacular. Who's the best player in the world? Lionel Messi. Who's the best player of all time? Lionel Messi. Which of the matches you played in do you still think about the most? Rome and Wembley, and probably the, the FA Cup final against Arsenal. Well, <laughs> that's what happened most of the game that I'm chasing him. Look, <laughs> um, this is probably possibly one of the most embarrassing nights of my life, and the, the one at Wembley. This is in Rome, where we got beat in the Champions League final. But the thing about him is that he doesn't even doesn't even come near you. If you're a defender. In a game, you want to get near people or at least get the ball. The problem is, is when you did get close to him, he was that small and quick. He was going underneath. <laughs> so I, was like, I was trying. Normally, normally you go out and you hit someone in yeah. the chest, and he was just going underneath it. And I was thinking, this guy, he's a magician. He's the best player I played against. If we played against that Barcelona team without Messi, we probably would have won. Mr. Ferguson, I have a question for you. You've seen uh, some of the uh, best players in history like uh, Maradona, Cruyff, De Stefano. Do you think Leo Messi is now at that standard? Do you think he'd be a part of that uh, select group of the best players in history? Yes, I would agree with that completely. I think that um, <clears throat> the generational thing, of course, uh, someone um, <clears throat> so along the years, the past few years, a lot of people, crit critics or media, I've always addressed this situation. Would a player in the 50s like Pelé be able to play in present day? 
You know, the, the answer to that is great players would play in any generation. Lionel Messi we could play in the 50s, he could play in the, uh, the present day, as could Di Stefano, Pelé, Maradona, Cruyff, we could all play any level because they're great players. And Lionel Messi, without question, comes into that category. I think uh, these kind of players like Xavi, like Leo, like Andres, like uh, this, kind, this kind of players, they are com competitors like himself. Isn't, they don't necessarily, the coach, to tell them something about they have to do it like this or like that, they have to, to motivate them. They love this game, they enjoy it uh, every, every, se every season, they, they love when they touch the ball, so that's why they, Xavi, are 14 years, 15 years playing the high, high level and, and Leo have a still the, the motivation, the, the, the still remind, the remind on top. Okay, uh, let's talk about today. Who is the best player today? Today, uh, I think, is no doubt, is Messi. One word, though. Messi or Ronaldo? One word. One word. <laughs> <laughs> One word. <laughs> Messi.